I mean, these are all the points. So students, finally, when you join all of these points in sequence, what you have is a beautiful curve by the name of superior trochoid. This is going to be the last video on trochoids. Today, let's discuss superior trochoid. Here we go. A circular disc of 40 mm diameter, that means radius is 20. Let me make it. Done. This is radius 20. Okay. Rolls along a straight line. This is that straight line, by the way. And how long do you need to make this? Well, by the way, we here need to worry about only one revolution. For one revolution, the horizontal distance traveled will be equal to pi d and pi d is nothing but pi times of 40. The value is going to work out as 125.66. I hope you can understand this very easily. Okay, you need to draw the locus of a point which lies at 30 mm from the center of the disc. Look, uh, there is this point over here and the distance from the center is 20. Obviously, 30 is going to be slightly more. Okay, so this is going to be that point. So uh, as far as marking it is concerned, I am going to place that point 30 mm from the center here. Done. Very easy. I hope you can see this clearly. Here, this is that point. Now let me let me pass a circle through this point P. Okay, with C naught as center, and let's say with C naught P as the radius, make a circle. Divide the circle into eight equal parts. Again, if you wish to learn how to divide any circle into eight equal parts, I will provide a link for a very short video, 30 to 40 seconds long in the description. Do watch it. Okay. Now simply start the marking one, two, three, four. Done, sir. Now you need to, first of all, keep your uh, <coughs> mini drafter along this horizontal line, tighten the screw. Then you need to keep on shifting it from point P to one, two, two, three, four, all, all of these points. Okay, and even to six, seven, and five, so that you can draw horizontal lines like this. I mean, if you if you start with five, it will coincide with three. If you start with six, it will coincide with two, and so on. So this was easy. Now there is something else which you need to do. You need to divide this line into eight equal parts. You see, eight equal parts because here the circle also was divided into eight equal parts. So let's say you divide the circle into 12 equal parts. In that case, this line will also be divided into 12 equal parts. So if here you've got 12, here also along the line, 12. If here it is eight, here also along the line, it is going to be eight. So uh, line division technique is very easy and uh, <clears throat> I'll not be demonstrating it completely. Let me write it in one go. Okay, if you wish to learn if you wish to understand how a line can be divided into n number of equal parts, again, the link of that short video is in the description to watch at. Okay, 30 to 40 seconds, that will be it. Anyway, so once you've got all of these points, what you need to do is with the help of a mini drafter, lock it in the horizontal vertical position, bring it to point one. Okay, it is point one, no, bring it to this point one dash, draw a line, two dash, draw a line, and you can make these vertical lines. Now you've got these centers, okay, once you, I mean, this is the center line. Okay, locus of the center is basically a line. This is the question that I had asked. Anyway, uh, so these are all the centers for the eight stages. Stage one, stage two, and this is the eighth stage. Now, where would this point go? This is something that we need to track. For that, students, what we'll do is we need to take some arc. And this arc is going to have a radius, which basically is 30 millimeters. So let me just write it the radius is going to be 30 millimeter in compass p a double s lovely now with c1 as center okay and on this line if i can zoom in slightly with c1 as center and on this line passing through one this line passing through one this one cut an arc it is going to be something like this okay this is the line the point will be slightly uh, moving upwards and also in the left hand side direction this way this is how the point would move point p would move so basically what you have is this as point p1 yes you can say so then with c2 as center okay and along this line passing through two along this line passing through two again cut an arc this way this is going to be point p2 with c3 as center along this line passing through three cut an arc p3 P4 is touch and go, C5, this is line through 5, cut an arc, right? And this basically gives you point P4. 
P5. And similarly, you can mark the remaining points. This is P6. This is going to be P7. On 7, basically. On 7. P7. And finally, P8 is going to be touch and go with C8 as the center. This is, I mean, these are all the points. So students, finally, when you join all of these points in sequence, what you have is a beautiful curve by the name of superior trochoid. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you wish to learn engineering drawing in a very organized fashion, download my application. The link is in the description and enroll in my course as soon as possible. Notes, MCQs, videos, both in English and Hindi. Everything is there. You won't have any problem. Very systematic. Thank you very much. Good day.